What's up cringe kids? Welcome back. In this week's video I'm going to be showing you guys my full body weekly workout routine in a realistic setting. I don't have nothing fancy, just down here in my basement with my weights and all of me gals antiques. So I have three different workouts that I rotate throughout the week. This week I started off with a tricep workout, followed by a leg workout, and the last one was a shoulder, bicep, and forearm workout. So let's get started. Also another thing to mention with all my workouts, except for my legs I guess, I try and get them done really fast, so normally under seven minutes, but it's intense, no break, non-stop, so let's just get started. All right, so before I start all my workouts, I always make sure that I'm hydrated and that my body's all stretched out and ready to go. And go, all right. So I started off my tricep workout with some dips. These used to be really hard for me, but as you can see, I'm pushing through it now and I can actually do a couple of them in a row, so I'm super proud of that. Next, I did some tricep pull downs, I guess that's what I call them. Um, it's just a rope hooked up to a pulley and it's holding a 20 pound weight that really gets my muscle as you can see right there. All right, so with each exercise I do, I always make sure that I'm really focusing on the specific muscle and after I can't either feel it anymore and it's completely burned out, that's when I move on to the next exercise. So these I just like to call reverse kickbacks. As you can see, I'm using pretty light weight, it's only 10 pounds, but I'm really making sure that I flex the muscle when I push it down. All right, so after I burned out my muscles on those, I went ahead and did some tricep push-ups so you want your hands to be in a triangle shape on the bench or the ground whatever you're using and then you just go down like a normal push-up all right another thing that i like to do in my workouts for triceps is weighted dips and so i just put a 20 pound on my lap and started doing them off the bench all right and that's all i did for my tricep workout as you can see i got them really pumped out like that and that only took me about five minutes um, and I always write down everything that I do on paper just to have it in record so I can look back and see the progress that I made. Alright, so obviously I wasn't able to show you guys like absolutely every single thing that I did because I just like shut off the camera towards the end and then just like really worked on like focusing on the muscle itself and just on like me actually working out instead of like, okay, is this getting in the angle and stuff yeah but then after i weight lift and train those muscles then i go and run on our treadmill and i do half a mile and then i and then i do level three for three minutes and then i do level oh that was the gopro and then i do level eight for a minute and eight is like fast there's 10 levels and eight so that's like sprinting and i do that for a minute um, and then I do level two for one minute just to like kind of cool down. That's not, that's like a really fast walk. So yes. So I'm going to go and do that right now. All right. For day two for legs, I wanted to start off with a warm up that I could incorporate my arms, abs, and legs into since I won't be working arms for the rest of the day. So I just did some pull-ups with my legs out though. And those really burn. Let me tell you, those are so hard. I straight away went into setting up the back squat bar. For my warm up, I do 65 pounds, just one set of six. And then after that, that's when I really start pushing myself. But it's really important to get your legs all warmed up before you want to try and squat really heavy. All right, so after my warm-up, I added more weights on. I had 120 pounds on. <laughs> That's actually a lot. That's more than I weigh. Um, and then I also put that pad on just to keep my neck and back from hurting with all that weight on there. And then I just started in. I did, I did three sets of six. All right, after my squats, I did some leg curls. That had 50 pounds on there, and I did three sets of 10, so a total of 30. Once I completed that exercise, I went ahead and did 25 jump squats. I know they're looking really weak, but my legs were just about dying. All right, and to finish out and burn out my legs, I did a 45 second wall sit. Oh my gosh, they were shaking so bad, but I did, but I was able to complete it. And there you have it, that was my leg workout. As you can see, they're pretty pumped up. I know lighting in my gym is not the greatest. I'm doing the best I can with it. 
All right, so for my shoulder, bicep, and forearm workout, I like to start that off by warming up my shoulders and doing them first. I normally do a couple military presses. I had 15 pounds in each hand for that one. As soon as I finished those, I moved on to doing concentration curls, also with the 15 pounds. I did six on each arm. All right, after that, I just did some regular curls in both arms, though, 15 pounds. I did that for a while until they were burning. All right, so after that, I did 50 pound curls with my arms resting up against that pad, as you can see there. Those were getting really hard, but I managed to pull through and burn my muscles out with that. All right, all right after I died on that, I moved on and did some more curls with the 15 pounds. Each exercise gets harder after you do more before that, and so I was being able to do less and less. Then you're showing yourself that, okay, my muscles are working, they're feeling this, and then I just had to push through onto the next one. All right, and after that, I did a burnout of concentration curls, 15 pounds each. All right, and that was it for biceps. So to move on to forearm, a good transition workout is, is these hammer curls, both arms. They were getting really hard for me, as you can see there. But it was really working, 15 pounds each. After I did that, I moved on to wrist curls. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Yep, wrist curls. I believe it was 22 pounds on that bar, and I just... And you really want to focus on just pumping blood into your veins and, and really squeezing and focusing on those muscles help a lot too. And there you go. That was my bicep, forearm, and shoulder workout. And there you have it. That's my weekly workout routine. I just rotate those workouts throughout the week. Also, if you're new to working out and stuff, make sure that you listen to your body. Take breaks when you need to. Make sure that you're hydrated. Um, it's really important that you listen to your body to prevent getting hurt. So take rest when you need to. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Friends Take I'll see you in next year, I guess. Bye!